<laughs> okay, signore e signori, madame and monsieur, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Frigga Kitchen. Uh, we're here, uh, my name is Roberto, and uh, I have my, here my assistant, Niamh. Niamh. Hello. Hello. And it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and we just found out that we have an amazing dumpster behind us, and we want to check out what we can find this morning. Check the freshness of the fruit. It's very good. These are very good. What is this? Chive, Chive mint. A mint. Look, there's some sprouts. I can't believe they just throw all this out. Oh, look at that. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> oh, it's choke. That's a nut choke. Amazing fruit, so look how fresh is it, look. Oh wow. I use them to save my memory because I'm very bad with memory. <laughs> Artichokes, they help me because they have a lot of phosphorus. Since I don't get fish or meat, they're a good source of phosphorus, which is good for students and for people that did a lot of drugs when they were young. <laughs> Can I say that I, want to, I don't want to leave the dumpster until uh, we don't find an onion because we need an onion. Okay, Bobo, I will help you. With Let's this. find an onion. <laughs> onion are always in the dumpster because they have so many. Oh, really? Look at that. Oh, that's a good one. That's a sweet one. Four one six six. It's from Peru. Mayan sweets, certified sweets. That looks very good. I think, um, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today. We can go to our place and cook something. Right. Do you want to? Yes. Cool. We've got beets, artichokes, squash, mint, sprouts. It's going to be a good meal. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. We are now here in our Freegan Kitchen studio and we have just returned from the dumpster with lots of tasty treats that uh, are fresh and ready to go. We've cleaned ourselves and we're going to clean up the, the fruits and vegetables that we found. Um, I am Neve again and this is Roberto. Roberto, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're going to be making today? Well, Neve, I have to say that I have been reading a lot about raw diets and so I've been inspired um, and I created these two recipes that we're gonna prepare. We're gonna make, um, we're gonna try to make a, um, a real meal with um, just raw vegetables and fruits and um, so we're gonna prepare an appetizer uh, with this uh, beautiful spaghetti squash that we found it's gonna be called uh, spaghetti salad Delicious. with citrus dressing and we're gonna serve the salad into this shell I don't wanna trash this shell, it's so beautiful and, and then the main dish, the main dish is gonna be um, these marinated artichokes and beets and turnips uh, with a special dressing that we're gonna prepare and they're gonna be served over a puree of cranberries and dates Doesn't that sound delicious? Let's get started. Okay. So I want to say something before we start. Um, a good dumpster diver should always uh, wash his products that you, that you find. Uh, with a, I, I use a little bit of um, baking soda and I use a, um, a little brush. And it's a good habit, you know, mm -hmm. to, to wash just for a little bit. Um, there's a nice trick with beets. If you leave just about an inch of the stems on, it keeps it from bleeding too much, you know, because this is a very messy root that we're dealing with here. Okay, I hope this is not going to offend the raw diet uh, extremist, but I'm going to boil the spaghetti squash just for five minutes in order to have it a little bit tender. So, um, while I'm here slicing all of uh, the turnip and beets, um, Roberto will be preparing the vinaigrette. So, Bobo, why don't you tell us a little bit about your vinaigrette? Sure. Uh, this is going to be a vinaigrette made uh, mainly of these uh, fresh chives that we found this morning. They, they look amazing. Now, and did you say they were organic chives as well? Of did course. You luck out? They were organic chives, yes. That's so, excellent. I'm going to put these guys here. Together we some oil, two tablespoons of 
apple vinegar, some fennel seeds. Your apple cider vinegar is raw as well, isn't it? It is, That's of course. And some fresh grounded ginger. I'm going to put just a tablespoon of Dijon Moutard mustard and then of course fresh grounded pepper and salt. Sounds delicious. And of course some of this sweet lemon that we found just a tiny little bit because there is already vinegar and I don't wanna exaggerate on acidity. Artichoke. Of the artichoke, I wanna use just the butter. So isn't that called the heart of the artichoke? Well I call it the heart, but I think this is different in Europe. We call the art this is the heart, like the very Center. edge yeah. the, the very edge of the artichoke. And I call this the butter. I want to leave this for decoration, so guys, don't crush this, just leave it um, apart. And of course, clean carefully the bottom of the artichoke because it's usually the part that is very dirty. been boiled for five minutes, a little bit tender. I'm gonna cool down and dry this guy. So now that Roberto has made this delicious Roberto surprise vinaigrette, it's got chive, Dijon mustard, some fennel, salt and pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, olive oil, all the good stuff that makes it great. I'm going to add all of the vegetables that I have, the beets, the turnips, and uh, the artichoke, the bottom of it, with a little bit of lemon juice to prevent it from browning. I'm just going to add them all together and then pour the vinaigrette over it and marinate them for a little while as Bobo is preparing um, the puree, right? Yeah, I'm preparing these two purees actually that we're gonna put under the vegetables that you're preparing. Um, one is gonna be based on uh, this amazing organic uh, um, dates that we found this morning, so I'm going to remove the, um, the seed because I want to use a blender so to make the puree to make the puree so this is my blender I'm going to put these dates here with just a half of a cup of water there we go. And the juice of this fresh squeezed orange. Just a half of an orange is gonna be good. I need about three tablespoons or maybe four. It's not gonna hurt. There we go. The consistency of the puree, it's perfect. It smells delicious. Um, so here we have all of the beautiful vegetables that we um, took from our wonderful dumpster dive. We have the beets and turnip and the bottom of the artichokes marinating in the chive, fennel and Dijon vinaigrette that Roberto so gracefully devised for us and now he's working on the cranberry puree yeah right? the second puree yeah. uh, so they, they look fine to me they look wonderful yeah they are shall I taste one yeah good oh thanks it's always good to nibble while you're cooking sweet like you hmm thank you I'm gonna use a, a half of a cup of these cranberries here is our measuring cup and again 
in the blender. This time I'm gonna use lemon. Just let's say two or three tablespoons. So maybe a half lemon is gonna be enough for you guys. And this time I'm gonna use just a, a third of a cup of water because cranberries are little and they don't need to be splashed. And again, we're gonna go to the blender. I'm gonna check the consistency. There you go. You have the two purees. Do you wanna assemble the plate? Sure. There you go. So I will put a little bit of the date puree down. Maybe spread it. Yes. There you go. Stop. And at 12, I will put some uh, of the cranberry puree. I also washed these uh, sprouts. Remember, we found some sprouts mm -hmm. this morning, and I dried. I dried, but I'm not very satisfied with the drying job. So <laughs> I'm gonna use a paper towel. Sprouts are an excellent way to decorate plates, and um, they're also delicious because we we're not used to eat seeds. Right. So if you sprout seeds, it's like eating seeds, but it's more delicious and more pleasant. You know, I don't like eat seeds. Come on. So I'm gonna decorate with this little guy. It's beautiful. How would one go about eating this? Do you dip your slices into the purees? I do. Yeah. I do. You but, eat it however you like, huh? Yeah, but if you want you can just mix it. I, I like to keep the flavor separated so that you can distinguish since we have different citrus in the different purees and this is a vinaigrette that is kind of a in contrast with the sweet flavor of the puree. So yeah, I, I, I would dip these guys into mm -hmm. the different puree and try the various combination according to your taste. Now that we've prepared our main entree, the salad is in the fridge cooling so that it'll be nice and fresh for our dinner time, um, or lunch time in this instance. Roberto, because he did such a good job with our last vinaigrette, um, as the wonderful saucier he is, he will be making the next uh, vinaigrette for our spaghetti salad, which is actually squash, not spaghetti. And he's going to be cutting some sweet Peruvian on onion for me. Now, Roberto, did you know I'm that there's... I'm afraid of crying. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can help you with that. If you um, rub some lemon on your cutting board, it kind of helps to prevent you from crying. On the cutting board? On the cutting board, yes. Just have uh, the rest of the lemon. Yeah, just rub it on and it'll help to um, keep the the fumes of the onion at bay. There's also another works. wives' tale that if you put a spoon in your mouth or comb, it helps you from crying, but it's kind of hard to talk when you have the spoon in your mouth. So it's kind of a fable. <laughs> well, there are lots of fables in this world, but some are actually true. So as he's cutting that, I'm going to cut this. Now, as Roberto had said earlier, we are going to use the, um, the shell of this as a presentation for our wonderful spaghetti salad. I'm just going to go and scoop the seeds out. Now that we've taken the seeds out, um, we are going to take a fork like so and just scrape the interior of the squash like this. And it makes kind of like, um, you know, broken spaghetti. And you want to put it out onto a paper towel because it needs to be dry. Um, let's do this this way so you can see that. It's softened up a little bit because we put it in the water for a few minutes. And you want to be careful around the edges so you can save it for presentation, as Roberto has said. Roberto, do you have time? Or are you going to be making your vinaigrette now? Oh, in the meantime, I can do the vinaigrette. That sounds good. Yes. I was going to put them to work. This time, um, I'm going to make um, a meat lime vinaigrette. Which, like that, sounds like a mojito, but it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna use this fresh, organic, um, lovely meat that we found this morning in the dumpster. That was a great score. You need mint, right? Mint, yeah. Yeah, mint. I am cutting this uh, mint for the vinaigrette. I don't want to see leaves around. I want this to be cut very, very thin. So I suggest a big knife so that I can use as an half moon. Or if you have an half moon, you can use the half moon, but I don't. And when the meat is very thin, and it's almost a paste, I put this in a bowl.
with, of course, salt and fresh ground pepper. I'm tempted to use the mustard because I like mustard very much, especially Dijon mustard, but this time I want to keep a very citrus flavor. So I'm not going to use any um, uh, vinegar or mustard and just extra virgin olive oil and the juice of half of a, li of a lime. Did you take a shower before start cooking and after the dumpster? I did indeed. I, you know, just wanted to make sure that I was the cleanest I possibly could. I didn't use baking soda as you did, but... Uh, <laughs> what did you use? Lavender soap. Wow. And you? Did you shower? Yeah. But oh, just that's with... right. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like you don't know. Come on. There, there you, you go. Are. I'm gonna wash the shell again. I'm just going to press these to take it more as much of the moisture out as I can. You know, it doesn't have to be completely dry because that's probably not going to happen. But uh, as dry as possible. It's kind of like when preparing eggplant, you want to dry it out a little bit. Otherwise, it gets too mushy. That looks beautiful. So, do we have a bowl to mix this all in? We do. Here is your shells for the presentation. Oh, look at that. I think the beautiful thing about cooking raw vegetables or eating with raw vegetables is that the colors are so vibrant and beautiful and it just it makes it more exciting to eat, doesn't it? Yes, we want to talk about all the uh, enzymes that you're going to preserve Right. that seems to be so fundamental for your digestion system. Mm -hmm. Now we have our squash here and some Sweet sliced. onions from Peru. Sweet onions. Now did you cry? I didn't cry. Yeah, see? Nobody ever trusts a lady, but uh, you should. And some julienned carrots that I had cut earlier. And my amazing mint vinaigrettes. There you go. Excellent. Now I like to use my hands because it's more fun that way and you kind of, it's like feeling the food, you know? You like to get messy. I do like to get messy. Nothing a good shower can't clean you up from. Though. <laughs> <laughs> right, Roberto? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to fill these guys with this salad. So I'm filling the shells now with this salad. And it'll be self-serve when we put it out for all of our guests to eat. Doesn't that look wonderful? Okay, again I'm going to slice uh, and cut these uh, fresh chi chives. And I'm going to use the chives as decoration for the spaghetti salad. They give a touch of green, of intense green. They look very cool. They don't? Beautiful. And, they... and I'm going to use the leaves of this artichoke, then we left to use as a flower to decorate our main dish. There you go. So again, I'm hungry. red beets and turnips and uh, artichoke herbs, um, you know, over a puree of uh, cranberries and dates, and as an appetizers, spaghetti salad. Roberto, stop working, let's eat. You wanna be tough, better do what you can, so beat it. 